Cabo San Lucas, the city known as the end of the earth, where the Sea of Cortez meets the Pacific Ocean, and where it is home to the famous El Arco. Mm. And did I mention this arc is remarkably old, a whopping 84 million years old. Oh me, oh my. The weather stays yummy and the sunsets are said to be magical. But what else does this place of utter beauty have in store you may ask? Well, I invite you here today as we go on a tour with our CEO no Ocampo. Way. In today's vlog, we'll be giving you seven reasons why we consider Grand Salmar Lands in our home away from home. Let's get to it. Reason number one, location. So this resort is a bit unique when it comes to location. First off, it is conveniently located near the heart of Cabo Medano Beach, where a host of activities such as jet skiing, parasailing, and shopping happens. But what makes this resort so different is that it's tucked away behind the famous rock formation called the Arch of Los Cabos, right next to Lover's Beach and Divorce Beach. The tranquility and privacy makes you feel like you're a world away in a secluded retreat. And in certain months, the angle of the resort treats you to both a magical sunrise and a memorable sunset over the water. But there's only one downside to this resort, strong waves. These dangerous waves make the beach unswimmable, but they more than make up for it with their seven beautifully designed pools, each having their own charm. Which brings us to reason number two, the pools. From zero entry to four separate infinity pools, you quickly feel like you're in the ocean without the riptides and the jellyfish. Here's infinity number one. Kitchen tap is broken, drip, 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 drip. Dirty dishes in the sink. We've been laying here for weeks, weeks, weeks. And this is infinity number four, my favorite. Did I mention all the pools are heated? What? But if you want more heat, they have a jacuzzi and a grotto. And drinks and food is oh so plenty. You don't even have to step out of the water to grab your favorite meal or drink. It's like we're scared of trying. So different from when we started off. No, we're just like, I think it's time to call it quit. worry about getting a lounge chair or a cabana they're everywhere you can read a book you can work or you can just soak in the sun and the view and if you want a little bit more peace and quiet then head on over to the adult school take me back to Mexico Tallers pool for the little ones. How cute is this? Kids of all ages have plenty to do. They didn't miss any details. And to top it all off, you have access to their slides and rope swings at Rancho San Lucas, which is their sister hotel. Oh, 
Let's see what you gonna do. One, two, three, go. Don't think, don't think, don't think. Go. <laughs> Reason number three, activities. So when the kids need a break from the water, they have a full schedule of activities at Kids Club, ranging from mask making to face painting and many more. That right there, my brother looks dope. And while the kids are busy, the parents are off doing their own activities too. Ooh, bit strong. I like it. And if you're not into tequila, no problem. They also have a bubbles and champagne experience or a wine tasting and a pairing. And if you want to do an activity as a family, then they offer that too. Me llamo Alberto. We're gonna do two things really bad style. Ceviche and we're gonna make burritos. Ooh. It's a machaca burritos. The type of fish is a campachi. King Campachi is the guys that bring us this, this, this quality of fish that is amazing. It's local product, responsible fish. We call it responsible because sustainable is almost impossible to eat. You know Clamato where it come from? It's tomato and clam juice. I want you to say this. Chiri mi huico. What do you think, buddy? The perfect fish with crackers and the perfect sauce. It tastes wonderful. No lie, this is the best ceviche I've ever tasted. Cheers, and But if the kids want more of an adventure, strap on a helmet and hop on a mountain bike. Who's excited to go bike riding? When was the last time you guys went biking? Precisely six months ago. They gotta ride again before we actually go mountain biking. They gotta learn. It's okay. It's still getting used to it, but it's so hard. It should be easy, right? I hope I don't fall. <laughs> Good job, good job. So many things to do. This resort is designed so that you can enjoy to the fullest whether you're outside or in your room. Which brings me to reason number four, the rooms. From the spaciousness to the stunning views, the collections of suites and penthouses bring something luxurious for everyone. Check out these rooms. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me on a room tour of Grand Samar Land's End. Let's start off with the Grand Studio, the smallest of the suites. It's 730 square feet. It's equipped with a king size bed, a little dining area, a queen size Murphy bed. The space comfortably sleeps three people. It comes with one full bathroom with a nice, spacious tub. And it even has a cute little kitchen! But if you want a bit more space, let's check out the one bedroom master suite. It's 1,250 square feet. This is the master suite, aka the one bedroom. This is the living room. This is the dining room. And it has a fully equipped kitchen. 
It's ideal for a family of four like us. It has a queen Murphy bed that pulls down. Comfortable for the little one. It has two bathrooms and one of them is right here. And the other bathroom is here. And this vanity area is very useful, especially for girls. This closet is very roomy. And it has a comfy king size bed. Perfect combination of space. Now this is the two bedroom penthouse, 2,600 square feet, beautiful living room, love the blue tones of the dining room, love this bar area and this fully equipped kitchen, study room with an office desk. This penthouse has two spacious bedrooms and three large bathrooms. Bedroom number one. This is the master bathroom. Bedroom number two, and this is the other bathroom. And if you need more space in this, you can upgrade to a three bedroom penthouse. And this is a three bedroom penthouse. This is 3,600 square feet. This is the suite we owned, and we usually reserve this space when we bring along our friends and family. Spacious living room. Luxurious dining room. Marble countertop kitchen. And check this out. A cute little study area with a queen size Murphy bed. Now let's check out the bedrooms. This is the master bedroom. Come in and check out this walk-in shower. My favorite part of this master bedroom is that it has its own balcony. This is bedroom number two with two queen beds. And this is bedroom number three with its own king bed. This has four bathrooms. But if you need a much larger space than this, we save the best for last. Welcome to the largest penthouse at Land's End. It's 6,200 square feet of luxurious living space. And I really lack the descriptions and vocabulary to describe what this suite really looks like. Let's start with this kitchen. I love this island. This is what I want in my house someday. Love this art decor. Love that this seat. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. So this penthouse has four bedrooms. Every room has a different theme. This is bedroom number one. With a walk-in closet, ladies. Bedroom number two with two queen beds. And my outfit matches this bedroom very well. <laughs> This is so cute! Oh my goodness! This is bedroom number four. Love the colors, love the vibe of this bedroom. And I love this spacious bathroom. Imagine hanging out with your family in this cozy living room. All spacious, all luxurious, and all oceanfront. about this penthouse is this beautiful wraparound terrace with the most beautiful panoramic view. 